All right, the Cheshire Cat Head Syndrome. Yeah, it's one of my inner child kind of fun ways to explain things. So we're getting a lot of, you know, light and love fluffy people who think they're spiritual teachers and really don't live very little work on themselves because most of them haven't even fixed their body or even connected to it. So let's have a look at that and see what's actually going on. Shall we? And it's hard to argue with how the body works and how the biochemistry works because that's what spiritual teachings and philosophies are actually teaching us. Just that they cannot perceive past their own head, so they just stay at all concepts. Why? Well, many reasons. So, Cheshire Cat Head Syndrome. Remember Alice in Wonderland and the stories and movies about that? Where the Cheshire Cat was fun and bubbly and heaps cool fun, and but would disappear and reappear over here. And then there would be just an invisible head without a body. Or there would be a visible head without the body. And that's essentially what these people's psyches are doing. Can you see it now? Yeah. So when one isn't sure who they are because they're not connected with mind and body into the ground, because that would be connecting their nervous system, which is the whole concept of the you know, as above, so below, and the tree of life. Because the tree of life, you look at the nervous system picture and it's like a lot of branches up here and there's a lot of roots down here. So if you're looking at the branches and going, oh, God will save me or this type of divine entity, which is external from you, which is very disempowering, external, disconnected at the thyroid, then you're not going to connect your nervous system and actually get to Mother Nature, which your body is able to be because you can touch it. Remember, everything feminine, you can touch. Where is Shakti? Where is Kundalini Shakti? It's in the base chakra. So if you don't get your vitality up and you actually get to your base chakra, you do not have stage two of spiritual development. But yet they think they're teachers. Why? Because they're a Cheshire, Cheshire cat head. Simple, really, when you figure this stuff out. I'll explain to you what's going on in this people's body because it's just easy. I don't know how to do it. So, the way light comes into the body, comes out, you know, from the universe, down through the body, ideally, and this is the concept of the clear channel, or the hollow bone. So the light wants to come through your body, utilizing your chakras and your nervous system, endocrine system, to Mother Nature, and bounce back up to your perception, ideally as cleanly through the body as possible, with good structural alignment and posture, so you can get the messages that you need to, you know, what you need to do that is good for you and your soul and your spiritual development and your path. But when you're a disconnected Cheshire cat head, how do we do that? It's impossible. But the thing is with delusion, is people can't see it. That's the funny part. So anybody, like anybody with this disconnected of the head and the thyroid, they've got thyroid problems. What does that mean? If that one's not working, the master of metabolism, then the bottom chakras, the bottom glands, the bottom earth, ele or the bottom elements in the whole body are not working at all because the nervous system is disconnected at the thyroid. So what essentially happens is light comes in, goes to here, oh, hang on, there's a thyroid imbalance. I don't know what to do now. Uh, thyroid imbalance, uh, I'll come back out. What happens with thyroid imbalances? Well, you externally seek an, an external God or version of the divine or a, a false idol, you know, like a Ganesha statue or something else. That, and it doesn't say that I can do this. Remember, I am God or I am the divine. I am is the most powerful words on the planet because you're essentially labeling and having a communication with the universe. So if the thyroid people are coming out and saying, I need an external father figure, i.e. God, because I haven't worked out my right side masculine issues in my nervous system. But they're disconnected here, so it's not getting into the body to tell them what they need to do, how to exercise, what to eat, that is right for their body and their soul. So what do they do? They get worse. Because the messages are not coming all the way through, and it takes a lot of effort. I'm, I'm getting it and I'm getting quite good at it now. It's taken a lot of effort though. And so if it's because they're disconnected here, 
there are no absolutely no messages coming from the bottom well the rest of the body and you can see it in their body shape you know it goes like this it means that if the thyroid's not working they're not detoxifying on a daily basis they're actually getting significantly worse on a daily basis because there's no connection between mind and body it's a scary thought isn't it i don't know how they they can do it but i know how it works but how can you look in the mirror and go, you know, I look good, I love myself? In a journey of self-realization, you got to at least love, you know, accept yourself and then you can improve it. Surely. So you like what you see in the mirror, right? I would have thought. Otherwise, you're just going to co-create more issues based on the rest of the chakras in the whole body. Because if you're insecure and you don't have a base chakra and vitality and exercise and digestion and, and excretion, the stored toxins, therefore the stored stories, are going to add up more and more and more. And because there's a disconnection here, the head doesn't receive the nervous system messages and says, no, God will fix it. The divine will take care of it for me. Where's the action? Where's the empowered individual action in that kind of mentality? There isn't any, is there? And then there'll be, oh, there's many ways to do it. Because if you're not getting the, the, all the messages coming down here, coming they're getting jumbled or here and then disconnected, then, oh, hang on, no, that divine will take care of it. No, that, hang on, I was praying to Ganesha and he didn't help me. Oh, and it's still a perception, isn't it? Uh, okay, well, I'm going to switch over to this Cheshire cat head and I'm going to pray to Jesus. How's Jesus going for you? When you just need Christ consciousness. Guess what? You're getting it right now. Earn Christ consciousness. You have to get the vibration on the top of the head based on the base. Because that's the way the light comes through and the light comes back out. Clear channel. Bit of a different system. No. And of course the thyroid is the nervous system. That's how it goes. So, Cheshire Cat Head Syndrome. Beneficial or not? Definitely not. You want to get in your body some sort of movement. Bikram Yoga is one of my favorites. <laughs>